sometimes what can liven up a great scene or a fun show is a special celebrity cameo. It just brings a whole other dimension to the moment whether the celebrity is playing themselves or playing a character that's been written in for them. 2019 had a whole host of special cameos whether on TV or in film but these 10 are our favorites. Take a look. At number 10, we've got Keegan-Michael Key's appearance for Julia Lewis-Dreyfus's now-concluded show, Veep. He appeared on the seventh and final season of the show in an episode titled South Carolina playing Jordan Thomas Jr., his banter with JLD and the fact that he got to play a pivotal part in the episode makes it all the more special. At number 9, we have Saved by the Bell star Mario Lopez who made an appearance in Season 6, Episode 4 of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. He played a fictionalized and caricatured version of himself who gets begged to attend Gina's farewell party only to be turned away by her in a true Gina moment. The nostalgia he brought on board was enough to make this one adorably funny. At number 8 is the surprise cameo Ed Sheeran made in the Amazon Prime's Modern Love Anthology series. He showed up as the British homeless guy Mick in the 7th episode, Hers Was a World of One. From sitting around on the couch and eating prawn buna to casually sipping coffee in the back while an argument takes place, his thick West Country accent sure threw his fans for a loop but in a fun way. At number 7, we've got Ellen DeGeneres making a memorable cameo in the final season of The Big Bang Theory. She made an appearance as herself in a fictional version of The Ellen Show in the 18th episode of season 12 where she interviews the two scientists competing to steal the Nobel Prize that really belongs to Sheldon Cooper and Amy Farrah Fowler. Incidentally, this isn't Ellen's first cameo on the show. She first appeared on The Big Bang Theory in Season 10, Episode 9, where Sheldon goes to watch a taping of her show with a co-worker. At number 6 is a joint cameo by the Fab Five from Netflix's Queer Eye on the animated show Big Mouth. Bobby Burke, Tan France, Jonathan Van Ness, Anthony Porowski and Karamo Brown showed up on Season 3, Episode 10 of Big Mouth to give Coach Steve a makeover or attempt a gay rescue. They each brought their distinct personality to the hilarious animated show, especially Tan, who kept referring to Steve as dumb. Best Netflix crossover yet. Coming in at number 5 is a blink and miss cameo from Game of Thrones showrunners David Benioff and Dan B. Weiss. They first made an appearance on the show during Season 5, Episode 6, where their faces were part of the Hall of Faces in the House of Black and White. Making their first full-bodied cameo in the 8th season of GOT, David and Dan were decked up as wildlings in Season 8, Episode 4, The Last of the Starks. While they didn't have much of a role, why this one is hilariously iconic is because the showrunners were part of a scene where the infamous Starbucks cup was spotted in the shot. At number 4 is author Stephen King in the spooky film It Chapter 2. King has been making on-screen cameos since 1981 but his latest cameo in It Chapter 2 in a scene where Bill tries to buy his bike from a second-hand store is all kinds of precious, especially since it takes a subtle dig at King's own critics who maintain that the author makes a mess of the ending more often than not. Cheeky much? And number 3 is the exhilarating bout of nostalgia that J.K. Simmons delivered with his cameo at the end of Spider-Man Far From Home. Playing his usually grumpy self as J. Jonah Jameson, the editor of the Daily Bugle, now seen as the DailyBugle.net, he clearly looked chuffed to be reprising the Spidey hater part he played for all three Tobey Maguire movies. We love it! At number 2 are the two and possibly the final two live-action cameos we'll see of Stan Lee. The first was in the March 2019 release Captain Marvel. He was not only featured across the montage that makes the Marvel logo, but he was also present as a reading passenger on the train just before Captain Marvel finds the Kree masquerading as an old lady. His second cameo of 2019 was in Avengers Endgame in the scene where Tony Stark and Captain America travel back to the 1970s. 
we see him speeding past in the car saying, Make love, not war. Words to live by, sir. And finally, at number one is what has easily been the most delightful cameo of the year, Keanu Reeves in the Netflix film Always Be My Maybe. While he was always the conscientious sex symbol for the woke generation, Keanu's cameo in the film from entry to exit was a pure treat. He played a caricature version of himself where he wowed people with his pretentious ways. But the minute he did that opening slow motion walk, all else faded away. Welcome back and how Keanu! So which cameo did you love the most? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to check out all our other content too. And don't forget to subscribe.